All right, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to our yoga class. My name is Bianca. I'll be guiding you through our practice. Let's go ahead and get started laying down, please. Place your feet on the floor, lay all the way back. And then place your arms by your sides. Just let your whole body rest. Good. Let your shoulders roll down your back. Continue to ground your feet on the floor. Inhale a deep breath in. Cleansing exhale, just let it go. Breathe in through the nose, fill all the way up. Cleansing exhale, let it go. Good, one more big, luscious, nourishing inhale. And cleansing exhale out through the mouth, let it go. Good, inhale, breathe in through the nose now. And then exhale out through the nose. One more, just like that, breathe in. Exhale out the nose. Six, this next inhale, lift your hips up, lift the arms behind you, find a bridge pose, inhale. Exhale, lower the arms and the hips, both. Good, inhale, hips high, arms up and back. Exhale, arms down and hips down as well, slow and steady. Good, one more time, inhale, hips up, arms back, and then exhale, release. Good, bring both knees into your chest. Then once you're here, circle the knees apart, bring your knees away from each other and then back together, feeling the massage on the low back. Good, nice Parker. And then everyone circle the other way. Just beginning to soften here, opening up through the hips. And then we'll go ahead and take a happy baby. Plant your feet face to the sky, elbows near your knees and then find a sway side to side here just awakening inner thighs inner hips even outer hips all right very good and then from here take a figure four right ankle or right shin goes on top of the left thigh and then if you can interlace your hands around your left shin or your left thigh bone and bring it closer to your body nice Relax your face, relax your ears, let your shoulders also relax. Good, and then listen carefully. Plant your left foot down and take a hold of your right foot with your right hand. And then on the inhale, straighten the right leg high to the sky. It can be a little bent. Good, and then exhale, return the foot back over your left thigh there. All right, so inhale, extend, straighten. And then exhale, right heel touches the top of your left thigh. So keep moving like this. Play with the external rotation. So inhale, this is regular rotation. Then when you bring it in and down, that's that external rotation. Nice. Keep going. Inhale. Exhale, bring it in. One more. Inhale. And exhale, bring it in. All right, from here... Find a half lotus. If it's too early for you, just do the figure four. Half lotus with just the right foot. Extend the left leg. So your in, the outside edge of your right foot is going to the left upper thigh, maybe even the left upper hip crease. And take a few breaths there. Just kind of drawing your left knee. It doesn't have to be straight down. Mine's a little bit up and to the right. Take another breath. Nice, slowly release, let go, lift up this right heel high to the sky. And then from here, lift the shoulders, lift the gaze, float the left heel and balance, engaging the core. Hold here for five, four, lift a little higher for three, two, and one, release, good. Figure four, left side, left ankle over the right thigh. Interlace around your right thigh bone, maybe even your right shin bone. Nice, and then try to soften everything to the ground. Shoulders relax. Breathing into the outer hip. Noticing what you need today. Maybe you 
bring that leg closer or maybe you push the left thigh away. Good. Secure the low back on the mat, please. Good. One more breath. And softly release. Good. Take a hold of your left foot, please, with your left hand. Extend to the sky. It can be a little bit bent. And then from here on the exhale, bring your left heel towards your right thigh. Good. Inhale, extend. Left leg. And exhale, bend. So try to find, again, that outer, like that external rotation in this left hip. You can kind of dip into the left side or dip into the right, depending on how you're feeling. So on the inhales, you'll want to extend the leg. On the exhales, bend. Two more here. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, one more. Extend. And bend. All right. Then from here, listen carefully. Extend your right leg all the way down to the floor. And then find either your half, your half lotus here or a figure four variation. So just starting to feel out your left knee. It can even look like a laying down tree pose. So just feel out what is accessible for your joints. Good, relaxing into this hip opener. One more breath. And slowly inhale, lift the left leg high and then lift your right leg, lift the shoulders and hold. Good, try to lift through the core here rather than the neck. So really cinching at the waist. Hold here for five, lift a little higher, four, three, two, one, and good, let it go. This time, both legs to the sky, flex and point your toes, circle your ankles, arms can be overhead or by your sides. And then from here, go ahead and lift shoulders, head back a little bit as you Engage through the core once more, shifting, reaching forward, relax through the neck and the jaw, just keep engaging that core and softly release. Good, rock and roll as many times, find your tabletop. So take your time, move it around. Once you're on all fours, just find your cat and cows. Inhales for cow and exhales for cat pose. Good, just mindfully moving the body how it wants, how it needs. Paying extra attention to any areas of tightness, tension, soreness that you wanna work through. Breathing. Getting your neck and your gaze involved with the movement, maybe even looking to the left shoulder into the right shoulder. Yeah, good, Melissa. And then from here, find your puppy pose. Walk the hands forward. Let your forehead touch. Keep your hips lifted above the knees. Allow your shoulders to lift away from the floor here so you can get the underarm stretch. One last breath in your puppy. Anchor those feet down and then slowly release back up to tabletop. Inhale. On the exhale, lift it up, down dog. Good work. Plant the hands, plant the feet as you wish. Then start to pedal out one knee and then the other knee. Keeping those arms really straight and strong. Finding your gaze back towards the toes, noticing what it's like to stretch the back of your neck, especially after you've perhaps been looking down or looking at screens. And then from here, find some stillness. Hold steady there, lift through the quads, stretch your back, press your chest towards the thighs some more. Good. 
Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, circle the knee. Keep the chest really open. Find one circle outward, one circle inward. Good. And then from here, lift the knee high, lift the head forward. Any amount of lift there. One breath. And then exhale, step to the right side. Good. Inhale the right arm high right away. Find your twist. Then from here, from your twist, let's go ahead and add some shoulder mobility. Circle your right arm in space. Like you're waving or you're creating a rainbow. And just finding some openness through that shoulder. Take a few more. Make sure you're circling outward once more. And then on the exhale, lower the left knee. Then take the right hand to your right thigh and sit low into the hips. Yeah, there we go. Good. Nice, Parker. Then you may decide you want to untuck the left foot or you may want to walk the left hand forward. So take any amount there. Should be really nice runner's lunge there, opening up the hips. You can look down. Make sure you're comfortable in that left knee. Good. Plant the hands, please. Tuck the left toes. From here, pulse the hips up for five. So pulse up five, four, up. Yeah, use your core. Listen carefully. Three, two, lift the left knee off the floor. One more. Listen carefully, full breath. And then roll to the left heel as you find your skandasana. So hopefully you found that. Nice. So stay lifted first. Try not to go all the way down to the floor. Yeah, so right here, just feel where your stretch is. So bend the right knee a lot. Yeah, there we go. Good. Then from here, begin to lean more into the right foot as you lift the left toes high to the sky. So getting a little bit deeper. Good. Now you transfer the stretch into the left inner thigh. Try, if you can, to ground the right heel. Otherwise, just lift higher with the hips and the chest. Breathe through it. Good. Slowly return back to center. Put your hands inside of your right foot. We'll pulse the hips up. That's a mouthful. Pulse the hips up again for five. Lift. This is on the exhale. Lift for four. Three. Core strength. Good. Two. Nice. One, then right leg goes up. Scorpion the leg. Take your chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. And exhale, downward dog. Really nice. Notice the difference, right leg and left. Hopefully right side feels more free, more open. Inhale the left leg high. Bend your left knee. And then on the inhale, start to circle. Knee one way, knee the other way. Try not to rotate your shoulders. Try to stay centered. Breathe. Good, nice, you guys. Then exhale, step to the left pinky. Right away, big twist, left arm. Then here, you can somewhat open through the hip. It doesn't have to be precisely squared here. I want you to feel out what's nice. Maybe an overturn of the left shoulder. And then from here, circle. So take the arm back, forward. Maximize the movement, make it really big. Nice worker. Breathe through it. Make sure the arm's going back in space, then forward. Try to recirculate re that movement to the back, not just the arm. <laughs> yeah, good, make sure you're breathing. And then the next breath, left hand goes to the left knee, right knee comes down, and then settle into your hips. Make sure the right knee is down, good. And then 
you can look down, you can move your right hand forward, whatever you need here to really allow your hips to surrender. You can even lift the gaze, find a little bit of an arch in the back, just depending on what feels good to you. Yeah, nice, you guys, letting go of all the sitting that we do, me included. And then place the hands on the floor, please. Getting ready, tuck the right toes. We can, we'll pulse the hips up. Make sure your right knee's off the ground. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So imagine you're just trying to float off the ground. Good. Here for three. Hips high for two. This is going to help lubricate the knee. And then one more. Lift. Now listen carefully. Walk your hands to the right. Plant your right heel down. Find any amount of that that side lunge stretch so it should look like this yes good leading into the left knee breathe a lot make sure you feel supported by your hands and then when you feel you're ready to start getting deeper lift the right toes you may want to sit into your skandasana nice and then if you, if possible, try to lessen the roundedness of the spine. <laughs> yeah, good. Breathe. Getting deep into your inner thigh on the right. And then from here, slowly walk yourself back to the front. Okay, then tuck your right toes, hands on the inside of the left foot. On the exhales, pulse the hips for five, four, three, two, use your lower abs, four, last one, lift the left leg, bend the knee, maybe look forward, and then from here, chaturanga, elbows by the sides, inhale to your up dog, and exhale down dog really good work five breaths press your knuckles press them down flatten your palms stretch the hamstrings one more breath good inhale look forward exhale to walk to the middle of your mat space. Inhale, halfway lift. Your exhale takes you to forward fold. Bend your knees, take a hold of the elbows, and sway side to side. Good, let something go here. Letting go of any tension, any stress, your to-do list, just be present. And then from here, please release the left hand to the floor. Walk your right foot to the side of your mat. Then inhale the right arm high. Once you do that, keep bending through the left knee and find circles again through this right arm. Trying to mobilize, trying to circulate through the lymph fluid, everything that's kind of getting trapped here in the underarm area. And then right arm takes the half bind to the left hip and look, look up to the right. If that strains the neck, look down at your left hand. Either way, just open up through the shoulder. So it's important. Good, one more breath. And exhale, release. Good, other side. Inhale, lift the left arm. Bend the right knee. Spin your chest over to the left, please. Once you feel lengthened and long, start to circle this left arm completing the full range of motion, trying to maximize that range, how high up the arm can go, how far forward, and then how far back. Then from here, take a half bind, left fingertips to right hip, gaze high to the sky, peel that shoulder open or look down. Either way, I want your joints to be protected, bend the knees, bend the right elbow, Steady breaths. Good, everyone. Exhale, forward fold, release. Walk yourself halfway, breathe in. 
On the exhale, interlace the hands behind you, find your forward fold bend with a bind behind you. Forward bend, bound forward fold, there we go. Good, shake the head yes, shake it no. And then switch the thumb that's on top for a moment. Take your hands to your hips, uh, inhale, rise up. Exhale, sit straight back into your chair pose, all the way back. Yeah, good. Look down, point your knees forward, point your toes forward. Go ahead, inhale, stand straight up. Exhale, rotate the palms, back bend. Inhale, back to chair, hands to hips. Sit down for the exhale. Inhale, stand straight up. Exhale, hands behind you, back bend. Inhale, stand. Exhale, sit. A little deeper this time. Inhale, stand. Very good, Parker. Exhale, back bend. Nice, you guys. Inhale, sit into chair. Exhale, hands to your heart. Elevate the right knee. And go in for your figure four. Find your balance. Hands to hips for more support. Good, hug your ribs in. Sit straight back into the left glute. Yearn your chest forward and up at the same time. Lengthen the spine. Good, inhale, straighten the left leg, lift the right knee. Hands stay on the hips, circle the right knee outward. Adding into the external rotation, Try to keep your entire body stable. We're working on balance. And then go the other direction. So out, forward. If balance is a challenge for you, you can hold on to a piece of furniture or something nearby. Good, one more. And sit right back into chair, exhale. Inhale, arms high, take a breath. And then exhale, back bend, goal post arms. Inhale, back up to chair, hands to hips. And exhale, sit a little bit deeper, as deep as you can, shins back. Inhale, left knee up, arms high. Exhale to your figure four. Just a nice reset for our hips here. Open up, external rotation, then feeling this outer hip stretch. Lifting the lower belly away from the thighs finding a steady point to look at, and then perhaps maybe even exploring how deep you can go into this right lunge. When you feel ready, inhale, lift the left knee, hands stay on the hips, circle the left knee outward. Play with extending the leg any amount, keeping it bent, yeah, good, you guys. Really, really nice. Stabilize your whole body, then go the other direction. This is really good for balance, coordination, stability in that right glute, right ankle, and right knee. Good, one more breath. Softly release back to chair. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, stand straight up. And exhale, back bend. Good, very good. Inhale up, and then exhale. Widen the feet, forward fold for a moment. Good, let yourself hang heavy. Bend the knees, be nice to your low back. Then from here, a quick halfway lift reset. On the exhale, your frog pose. So walk the heels out, get low. Notice how much more open you feel, maybe perhaps. And then open up, twist to the left. Left arm goes high, breathe there. And then exhale, center, inhale, right arm goes up. And bring it back to center. All right, let's go ahead, inhale from chip from this pose, rise all the way up to standing. Pivot the toes forward, nice. All right, inhale the left knee high. Stay balanced. Then exhale, warrior three, just kick that leg straight back. You're in the chest forward. Inhale, upright your left knee, upright your chest, lift. 
and exhale, bring it straight back. Two more here. Inhale, lift the left knee. Exhale, straight back. Good, one last, inhale. And exhale, hold the warrior three. Take the arms behind you. You got it. Press into the right heel, press into the right toes. And upright yourself. Inhale, look up. And exhale, back bend. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, hands to your hips. Right knee high this time. Feel free to circle the right ankle if you need. And then exhale, warrior three with the right leg. Just strengthening the glute. Inhale, lift. Core in. Exhale, back. You got it. Feel free to lean forward. Inhale, lift. We got three more here. Exhale, back. If you come out of it, just come back. No worries. Good. Inhale, lift. Great work. Great balance. Exhale. Nice. This last one will hold. Inhale, knee up. And then exhale, warrior three. Arms back, leg high. So, so good, you guys. Hold steady. Yeah. And good. Feet on the ground. Nice. Inhale, look up. Shake out that left ankle if you need. And exhale, everyone, to your back bend. Good. Inhale up. And exhale, hands to heart. Nice. Let's step it up more. Inhale, lift the left foot up into your tree pose. Then, when you feel good, arms overhead, palms touch up above you, get really tall and really long. Breathe, spread the right toes, ground, maybe even hug your thumbs, cross them so that you can feel more balanced. Good. Then wherever your foot is, maybe lower it a little bit towards the calf. And then from here, hands to heart, we'll play with the balance. So inhale, bring the left knee forward and exhale, bring the knee out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Inhale forward. Exhale out. We got three more. Stay strong. Inhale and exhale. Yes, you guys, you got it. Inhale. Exhale, one more, and exhale. Good, release, shake it out. Be proud of yourself for the amount of balance that you've been doing. Inhale, arms high, and then exhale. Hands to heart space, lift up, right foot into tree. Now that you know where we're going, just still give this tree pose a lot of space and time. Try to even out your hips. Lower the right hip if you can, so it's even and arms high. Maybe thumbs connect again. Perhaps biceps next to your ears. Remember to just try to look at one spot for balance purposes. Feeling the core strength, feeling your obliques working, your transverse abdominals holding you up in space, your glutes. And then from here, lower the hands to your heart space, maybe lower the foot a little bit, just not at the knee. And then inhale, knee forward, exhale, knee out. Whew, lots of work, inhale, and exhale out. Keep going, three more, inhale, exhale out. You got this, inhale, exhale out. This is strengthening the ankles. Inhale and exhale out and rest. Good job. Inhale, look up and exhale, fold all the way down. Halfway lift, lengthen. And then exhale, balance onto the right foot. Place the left shoelace part of your foot down and bend both knees. So stretching the ankle here on the left. Like a little flamingo. <laughs> yeah. Try to, try to flatten the, the toes on the floor, left one. And switch, good. Place the left foot down. 
Place the shoelace part of your right foot somewhere on the ground behind you and bend both knees. You might feel this stretch in the toes, maybe the front of the ankle. Very good. All right, replace both feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. All right, good, we'll add on. Balance on the right foot. I'm not gonna mirror you, I'm actually gonna do the same side and then lift it up for half lotus. Yogi's choice, you can simply go into tree again. So your half lotus can be low, like it can be like here, or it can be all the way up in the hip crease. Okay, you can hold the foot, just supporting yourself. You can, if there's enough space and muscle to leave the foot there, you can place your hands to your heart. You can even lift the arms up overhead, right? You can take a bind if you want. Your left hand will try to hold on to your right hip crease. Maybe you can reach for your big toe like this. All right, so no worries at all. That's not working out. And release, good. Unwind yourself very gently, roll out the ankle, the other one and then we'll take it on the other side. So lift it up to your half lotus. Lift up your right foot. Once again, any amount, you're in tree, you're in all the way up to the hip crease, you're here in the middle thigh, whatever works for you. Yeah, good, Melissa. Then you do have to bend the left knee a little to create the shelf so you can leave it there, the foot, and then hands to heart, and maybe even arms overhead. There needs to be enough, some meat on the thigh there to like hold up the leg, or you're using your core to really, really crank it up. If your knee, your right knee hurts at all, please switch to a, uh, into a tree pose. And then from here, if you took the bind, your right hand will wrap to the left hip crease. Maybe eventually you can reach for the big toe If your, your joint, your knee joint doesn't bend this much at this angle, that's all good. And very slowly unwind, good. Stretch it out, walk the heel up, other heel up, nice. All right, let's add on. Inhale, lift the arms high, exhale, back bend. Inhale, lift, pick up the left foot, find dancer's pose. Stay upright first. When you're ready, exhale, kick and reach for bow. Breathe, knee inward and exhale, slowly release. Get into the other side, lift your right foot. Align your knees, lift the chest and exhale to your back bend. Feel free to elevate up into your bow pose. Nice, bring it in and release. Good, good, good. Reach the arms forward, lift the heels up, and exhale, balance into a chair. So sit down, lift those heels higher. Proud chest. Yeah, if you got it a little bit lower, mindful of your knees. If you know that your knees aren't gonna take this much weight, put your hands on the ground now. Otherwise, everyone go down into your toe squat and lift those heels some more. Maybe you want to lift the arms up. You got this. Then lower down the hips and then lift the shins up for your boat pose right away. Yeah, try to lift and sit up higher. Good. From here, lift the arms. On the exhale, right elbow to left thigh, twist. 
Inhale up, exhale, twist. Keep going. Exhale, twist. Yeah, you got it. Inhale, exhale, twist. Stay still, very still. Inhale and twist. Got it. One last and twist. Good. Good job. Feet down, knees wide, and hands on the knees. Let yourself fold forward any amount. Inhale, lift the chest. All right, so now we're gonna uh, do a f one hip, one really deep hip stretch and a few outer hip or hamstring stretches. So parallel your right shin to the front of your mat. And then from there, doing your double pigeon. So stack your left ankle on top of your knee. And as much as you can, try to parallel the shins. There we go, lean back a moment. Try to get your seat on the floor and then exhale, fold, fold any amount. It might look different for you. You might just have to cross the legs here and then try to reach the fingertips a lot forward. If you'd rather stay upright, listen to your body. Otherwise, just getting into this double pigeon or fire lock pose. Good, inhale, lift the chest. Good, from here, extend just the right leg. Place the left foot into the inner thigh. Sit up nice and tall, reach the arms high, then exhale, reach for your right foot. Guiding yourself into this hamstring stretch. Yearning your chest forward, yearning your nose to your toes. Breathe a little bit deeper and inhale upright yourself. All right, from here, you can go ahead and lift the left foot, take it into a single, just one quick half lotus on this left foot, reach the arms high, and then once again, making sure there's no pain in that left knee, begin to fold forward. This one is a deeper hamstring stretch. If it hurts anything at all, just please back off. Otherwise, it's just that good stretch. Good. One more breath and slowly elevate yourself. All right. Replace your left shin parallel to the top edge of your mat and then switching here, right ankle on top. Sometimes the, some other side is tighter than the other. Yeah, good, Melissa. Just feel free to cross at the ankles, cross at the shins, or stack, and then inhale, reach the arms high, take the hands behind you, sit really firmly into the ground, connect those glutes, and then bow forward. breaths there. Letting the hip and low back release. Inhale, lift yourself up and then place your right foot on the inside of the left foot, left leg rather. So right foot, left inner thigh, like tree, arms high and exhale, reaching for the ankle, foot, maybe toes, maybe past the whole leg. Beautiful. Flex the left toes a lot. Feel that stretch. Maybe forehead into the shin, maybe chin into your chest. Either way, breathe. And then inhale, lift yourself up. And take your right foot, place it into half lotus. Then making sure your right knee is pointed out to the diagonal side. Inhale the arms high and exhale, fold. Right? So being really conscious of how this feels in your body. If it doesn't work, no worries. Just replace that right foot into the inner thigh. Otherwise, 
you might feel that nice compression over the left thigh, quad area, that's just massaging that muscle. So like our ankle bones are very hard. <laughs> Good, one more breath. And inhale, lift. All right, we're gonna place both legs forward. Then from here, widen the heels, take your toes, place them inward, and then take the toes, place them outward. Yeah, nice. So over time, you want a really nice range of motion, internal and external range of motion. So if you can, hopefully the big toes will touch the floor, and then hopefully the pinky will touch the floor. So play with that. Again, really good for lubricating the hips, the knees, ankles. Okay, then point the toes high, inhale, arms high, exhale, fold. Go ahead, reach, chest, bow, stretching the under, under the thighs, hamstrings, back. And softly lift. All right, plant the feet, fingertips to the heels, of the glutes pointing to the heels of the feet and inhale, lift up, reverse tabletop. Breathe, engage those glutes. And softly release the hips. Place the left hand down, look behind it. Look back at your left hand. Make sure the left fingertips point outward now. So facing the opposite way of your body. Good, right hand up to the sky. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift the hips up. Into like your wild thing, but both heels are aligned. And then exhale, release. Other side, right hand goes down, turn out, remember, and then lift the hips up. And exhale, hips down, then lay all the way onto the ground where we're gonna wrap up here very soon. Feet together, knees out wide. One hand to heart, one hand to belly. Look right and left. Just try to relax your neck. Very good. Inhale, knees into your chest. Legs high to the sky. And take a moment here, legs up the wall, roll the ankles. Take your knees into your chest, take a supine twist, knees over to the left while you gaze to the right. And inhale, knees in. Knees to the right, gaze left. Let those hips fall. And inhale, knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And exhale, Shavasana. Legs all the way down. Inhale, deep breath in. And a cleansing breath out. Breathe in. This last one, breathe in and exhale. Relax your face, your jaw. From here, place one hand to heart, one hand to belly. Just feel that connection. And take the arms up overhead. Big stretch. 
And slowly awaken the eyes to open, let the light come through, and then roll off to your favorite side. All the way up to your seat. Cross your legs. And then from here, inhale, reach the arms high and take a seated twist over towards the left. Inhale up and then a seated twist to the right. And inhale right back up. Nice job, Alyssa. Exhale, we bow forward, see your inner practice. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you so much. Ending a little bit earlier today because I do have to be back in the office by one, but thank you so much. I hope that felt good for your hips and see you guys on next week on Wednesday, same time, same place. All right, take care. Bye.